on the back of our property here, our neighbors have horses. We've got horses, and then the horses are inside of a, a pen. The gate, and just a regular pen. To keep the horses safe so they don't get out on the road and don't get hit. But when you're a horse or you're an animal and you're caged up, if you're a dog and you're chained up, whatever the situation or circumstance might be, it's not a very pleasant environment what it is for animals sometimes I think we feel like we're caged we're trapped and God wants us to realize that he wants to set us free he doesn't want us to be bound by the things of this world he doesn't even want us to be bound by the sins of our past Jesus said in John chapter 8 verse 34 verily verily I say unto you that whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin when we commit sin, we find ourselves bound. We find ourselves under the burden and the bondage of that past sin. But Jesus came and paid the price at Calvary so that you and I could have redemption and forgiveness for that sin. Verse 36 tells us, If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. In fact, earlier in that chapter, it says, If the Son sets you free, you're free indeed. I'm so glad that God sets us free. I'm so glad that God doesn't want us to be the slave of sin, but he wants us to be free and have a brand new life. So if you find yourself today feeling caged, you find yourself today fenced in by things that have happened in your past, turn to Jesus and let Jesus help you. Repent for the things you've done wrong and allow God to minister to you. And the God that cares for you and the God that loves you he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness if we confess our sins to him. God bless you. Have a great day. Share this with others, and we'll see you again on another daily devotional. Hey, guys.